Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? This is Calvin Butler, and today is Saturday. I hope y'all had a great and wonderful week. Hope y'all had a great week. Uh, I did. Um, uh, well, I did and I didn't, but it was. But it's all good. <laughs> I think um, someone's been trying to hack my system. Um, I woke up like Monday, and I apologize. We didn't do any of the um, global reports this week because our the internet. And my system were being hacked. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if people are just trying to get a hold of our stuff or, or what. But they had um, created a, another modem with the same name as my modem, but it had the number two at the end of it. And every morning when I woke up, my systems were connected to that modem. And I'm like, okay, I don't know, the, I don't know who this modem is. I didn't set this up. So then I go back try to and and log into my own modem or connect with my own modem. And the system wouldn't let me connect. It kept saying that the internet was down. I couldn't connect. So I called Xfinity. And they were saying that, you know, that they're showing a problem with not connecting. But they didn't see that ghost modem on there um, that I was seeing. The one that had my name on it, had, had my modem name on it, but the number two at the end of it. And they didn't see that. They didn't see that as being part of my system or, or, or anything that, uh, that I should be connected to. So obviously it wasn't me and I didn't set it up. And someone was, I guess they had created like a duplicate modem, um, cloned it somehow or another. And if I would have stayed logged on, anytime I log into something, they would have access to everything that we do, you know, all of my accounts, the whole nine yards, my square accounts, everything. And that can't happen. <laughs> that can't happen. So out of a out of an air of caution, I didn't do any um of the um, broadcast this week, I, I didn't log on. I, 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 no, I only logged on on my phone, on my phone's Wi-Fi, and, and well, on my phone's um, internet. And I didn't use the Wi-Fi for my phone. I just used you know, my, you know, my regular um, AT and T um, connection. So it was it, it was a trying week for us to try and figure it out. I had the text out. They were going through everything, you know, doing a forensic. You know the audit, you know my systems and stuff, and um, apparently someone in the neighborhood or someone, you know, I don't know if they're doing it from a car or whatever case, but they set up a clone modem. They cloned my modem. Okay, I'm I'm giving y'all a warning. Be careful about this stuff. They actually cloned my modem so they could gain access to everything I have. <laughs> That's crazy, but you know, hey, the lens that people will go through. I mean, you be. I mean, if they put that much time into a legitimate business, they'd be billionaires. <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> if they put that much time and talent into a legitimate business, they would be billionaires. But anyway, I've got my regular modem back up and going. They replaced my modem, scrubbed it, you know, all that stuff. Gave me a new modem, you know, hooked up the, you know, blocked that other modem or whatever that ghost modem was. So I'm back. <laughs> all right, so here we are. All right, so so it was crazy though. It was absolute. That was that's that's scary. That's scary because they because because with that type of of access, they can wipe out you know bank accounts, my Square accounts, all of my credit card accounts, and get access to all of my stuff. You know our back office tools and resources. All that stuff is worth a lot of money uh, to the right people. So that was just crazy how that happened. But anyway. I want to thank you all for hanging around. I know it's been a long week, not seeing me all week long, but here it is. I'm back, and we're back today for the Broker's Hour. All right. First of all, I want to welcome you all to my man cave. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the man cave. Welcome to the man cave. Welcome to the man cave. Welcome to the man cave, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to the man cave, you know, the bar you know, the, the theater room, and I got the exercise area over there, everything. So I want to welcome everybody to the man cave. All right, that's what we're doing our broadcast from this morning. Secondly, um, we now have our new um, enrollment up where you can enroll now to our platform and get access to everything that we offer, more than 100 load boards, more than 19 million plus shippers, more than, you know, actually every owner operator registered in the United States by state and by the type of truck that they're running or a trailer that they're pulling. Uh, we have all of that. Um, 
140,000 hours of recorded operational training videos, access to our live training, you know, everything, uh, logistics library, our network of more than 2,940 some odd professionals throughout the industry um, that you all can network with. You all access to all the time and up there, you get three hours of consultations per month with me. All that for just $99.95 per month plus tax. That's it. No enrollment fee, $99.95 per month plus tax. At the end of this broadcast, I'll show you all how to connect with that and to get enrolled. And look here. We got a way for you all to make money. The same way I make money. We got a way for you all to make money off of our logistics learning center platform. That's right. We have a franchise um, opportunity, a very affordable franchise opportunity. Not like those things you see out there where you got to pay $30,000 to get your you know, you, you know your Amazon store, or your th- or or or, or, or twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars to get your new Walmart third uh, third party seller store and all that type of stuff. No, <laughs> this is very affordable. This is very affordable, and we actually have a financing um, option for you for, for for you to finance. So we make it very, very, very affordable, and you can earn a lot of money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that down to you all at the end of our broadcast day two. All right, today is the broker's hour. Our dedicated broker training is every Saturday from 10.15 a.m. to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's get started with the broker's hour. Now, last week on the broker's hour, we went over, what did we go over last week? Last week, we left off with showing you all um, 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 how to negotiate with shippers or how you should be negotiating with shippers. Okay, you should be doing the, you should be doing the margin instead of you just taking what the shippers you know, are putting out there for whatever they're paying, and then you go over to, you post the loads at a less price, thus you're taking money from the carrier, okay? We showed you all how to keep that price that the shipper have. You're going to post that price, but at the same time, you're going to negotiate with the shipper to give you a margin over that price that they're going to pay you for moving those loads. Uh Uh-huh. So the load is listed at $5,000 or $6,000 or $2,000 $2,000 case may be, you got to negotiate with the shipper where my margin for moving that load for you on top of that should be 35% margin, 33 and 30% margin. So in other words, take that $2,500 or that $5,000 or that $6,000 and you and they should mark that up another 33 and 30%. You get 33 and 30%. That's your margin. That's the money you got holding. Okay. Let's say if it was $5,000 and then you marked it up, let's say you got another... 800 900 bucks on top of that that's your margin look at that eight nine hundred bucks that's your margin that's how much money that you are holding on to so in other words the carrier is getting exactly what the shipper is willing to pay now the shipper has to be willing to pay you a margin on top of that for helping to move that load you shouldn't be getting that from the carrier you should not be taking that entire margin from the carrier in other words, your money as a broker is made from the shipper, not from the carrier. As a dispatcher, your money is made from the carrier, not from the shipper. That's why you have those two separate companies, those two separate um, titles or two separate types of, 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 of services and industry professionals. This is why, okay? Dispatchers, brokers, they're both legal, but they both collect their money in different ways. Brokers should be collecting their money from the shipper. Dispatch should be collecting their money from the carrier because brokers really represent the shipper and dispatchers represent the carrier. Okay? That's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know how this uh, this industry got onto the, got off track and where brokers started taking money from the carrier, where they just take what the shipper says. The shipper says, this load pays $5,000. They put it on the load board for four to 100 bucks. Or thirty five hundred bucks, or what, or four thousand dollars, or whatever case may be, they're keeping a thousand dollars for themselves, but they're really taking that from the carrier because that's the carrier's money. Okay, yes, that is the carrier's money. That five thousand dollars should be going to the carrier. Now, for you getting the carrier to move that load at that five thousand dollars, the shipper should be willing to pay you a fee for doing that. That's your margin. That is how brokers should be operated. I don't know where these lazy behind brokers got off on 
not even trying to negotiate with the ship, but just well, yeah, we just take what you give them, and, and yeah, we'll take it off the we'll take it off the carrier side. Y'all know that's wrong. <laughs> y'all know that's wrong. All right, I, I know a lot of y'all don't like me because I tell the truth, but hey, the truth shall set you free. <laughs> all right, all right, good. Let's move on. All right, so today we covered that. Now today we're gonna talk about how do you find shippers. <laughs> okay, where do you go to find these shippers at? Everybody talking about these shippers, 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 shippers. You can go to the phone book. You can go to the Google and directory and you can buy, you can do what most people do when they buy a list of shippers. Now, these lists of shippers that people are you know, selling, they run anywhere from, oh my God, from um, $500 to $2,500 a list, depending on how much money, how many shippers are on that list. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. What you should be doing, you should join our platform. Yes, this is because in order to get the sh access to the shipper that we have, you either join our platform or you go and pay separately for that stuff out there. Now, in our platform, in our platform, we have very, we have different enrollment types that makes our platform very affordable. Okay. If you don't want to pay any type of enrollment fees, right, and you just want access, to everything that we have, like our access to more than 100 load boards, access to um, 19 million plus shippers, just join our platform at one of the um, 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 premium choice membership. Okay. One of our premium choice memberships is just $45 a month. I'm sorry, it's $49 a month, $49.95 per month plus tax. That's it. No enrollment fee, nothing. You just join the membership for $49.95 per month plus tax, and you get access to more than 100 load boards. Now, as a as a broker, you can't use those load boards to post loads because you got to have your own paid um, access to a load board in order to post loads on. So you can't post loads on our load boards. But if you are a dispatcher, yeah, you can use our load boards to look for loads. Now, what brokers do, can't take advantage of is access to more than 19 million shippers that we give you access to. Okay? And for $49.95 per month, that's a bargain. Especially when you go out there and you're paying for shipping lists. Okay? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you all how to access shippers and how we do it um, via our back office site with, here with the National Dispatchers Network and the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. So let me start sharing my screen. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's share, share, share. Sharing is good, y'all. All right, we're going to go to our back office site here. This is the National Dispatchers Network. This is what sponsors our broadcast. We're going to go to Dispatcher Tools and Resources. Now, when you're in our back office site, if you decide to become a member of our platform, when you get into our back office site, you're going to have, see this set up in the back office tools and resources. And says, welcome to your back office. Got a little video here that shows you, you play that video. It kind of tells you where everything is, how everything works, you know, what everything in the back office site is for. We have a dispatch series, how to dispatch series. That's for dispatchers. If you want to learn how to, to dispatch, six videos, each of them about two hours long, go through all the steps of dispatch. <clears throat> then we have our tools and resources. This is the meat of our back office. We have our tools and resources. Now, what we are looking for is shippers. So we're going to go down here to the, the low board area because we have more than 100 low boards, okay? More than 100 low boards. We have, like think, 16 main low boards on the roller decks, and one of these low, one of these placements on the roller decks gives you access to more than 99 additional load boards. So that's more than 100 load boards, everybody. More than 100. All right. So let's go over here and let's look up how we find shippers. Okay. This is how we find shippers. Now, before I do this, let me let me pause my share real quick because I don't want y'all seeing my logins. So we're gonna log in to one of our shipper, uh, one of our load boards that gives us um, access to a whole bunch of shippers. A whole lot. Of, we have we have two ways to access shippers. This is one way, okay? So we're going to show you this way right here. Okay, let me pause my sharing real quick. Sharing this pause. Now let me get into this bad boy. But up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Wait for it to pull up here. Got it. having some problems here with my. What is going on? 
I hope my system is not hacked again. Nope, I'm still on my extender. Y'all give me a moment. Y'all give me a moment. Let me get back down here. My screen share is pause. Let me get back down here to my, what you call it, and find, okay, there we go again. Let me log in. There we go. Now let me log in. Once I'm logged in, Ooh, I hope I got this right. Hold on. I got to go back over here and look for my log in. Y'all give me a second. Because I rebooted all my systems because of this, this hacking stuff. So I had to reboot everything. So let me figure out what my log in is. All right. There we go. Let me get my right log in. So right, I'll give me a moment. Do -do 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 -do. All right, there we go. We're now logged in. All right, let me start back by sharing again. Resume sharing. All right, there we go. All right, well, now we're logged in to our trucking planet. This is where we go to get access to our shipper database. Now, trucking planet also has loads, shipper data. They have, you know, carriers. We can contact carriers, all type of stuff. And we have a lifetime membership. We pay for a lifetime membership to trucking planet because we want to, look, we're going to be doing this for a very long time. We want you all to have access to this stuff when you join our platform without having to worry about, you know, how you're going to find shippers and all the type of stuff. So this is what we have a lifetime membership to Trucking Planet. Now, what you're going to notice here in Trucking Planet, when we're looking for shippers, we're going to go over here to what says View Shipper Databases. Okay? Look here. Dry van shippers, 34,000 plus. Flatbed and step deck and hot shot shippers. Woo, don't you like that? 10,900 plus. Those of you who were talking about hot shot loads, here are the direct shippers right here. Refrigerated shippers. 2,900 plus direct access to direct shipping. Distributors, distributors and wholesalers, 27,000 plus. Fresh food, agricultural, horticultural shippers, 4,000 plus. Imported, importers and exporters, 5,600 plus. Medical equipment manufacturers, 2,800 plus. Third party um, and commercial warehouses, 1,200 plus. And you have down here to keep going and review all freight rates requests and stuff like this, that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and start off with the dry van shippers. Okay. Now, here's what you're going to notice. We're not just giving you like a lot of big shipper list that you buy, that you pay, you know, $500 to $2,500 for. First of all, you don't get that many shippers on a list, $34,000, right? $10,900. I mean, you don't, I mean, come on, we're giving you this. Uh, this is a lot of shippers that we give you access to, right? Now, on top of that, with those lists, you just get the contact number of the company. You get a what? A general email address of the company. I want y'all to notice something here. We don't just give you a general number to the company where you're getting some secretary or you maybe get the janitor. I don't know. You, you might be getting the food delivery guy. I don't know who you get, but you ain't getting the person that makes the decision. Because you got to talk your way past them or send them all kind of stuff. Then hope they send it to whoever they need to send it to to get in contact with the person that actually makes that decision. And then you got to hope and pray that they call you back. <laughs> and that's, that's why people hate cold calling. Because they're not getting to the person who makes that decision. Well, that's not what we do. Okay, With our shippers, um, 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 with our shipper database, we're going to check the drive van shippers first. You notice here, within our shipper database, you've got a lot of shippers. Okay, look, I mean, look at all these. Uh, displaying one of 200 of 34,865 shippers. 
I mean, that's a lot of shippers, y'all. A lot of shippers, y'all. That's a lot of shippers. A lot, 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 lot of shippers. A lot of shippers. A lot of shippers. A lot of shippers. And that's just the first page out of 175 pages. Woo! That's what you get when you're doing our platform. All right. Let's go through these shippers. Let's go. Let's take a look at some of them. Now, I want y'all to notice something. When, you, when you're looking at these shippers, I want y'all to notice something here. You notice here, when you see a shipper, like here's one, here's an Osborne specialty. These are all drive on, drive van shippers now. These are all shippers for drive van. All right. They're out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. It even tells you what their sales volume is. Come on, man. Your shipper list don't give you this type of stuff. It tells you what their sales volume is 20 to 50 million dollars in sales volume. That's how much freight that they're shipping out on a regular basis. Okay. What the commodities are, sportswear, women's manufacturers. Okay. Now, check this out. Contact. You notice in the contact, you have an actual name of a person. Name David Osborne. That should tell you something. Osborne, especially. Who is David Osborne? He's the president of the company. Whose phone number do you get? You get David Osborne's phone number. Whose email address do you get? You get David Osborne's email. David at KobeStone.com. Come on, man. <laughs> and that's not just that one. If you go through this whole entire list of 30, what, 4,865 of these shippers, you're always going to get the contact number of the person who makes that decision. Tamara Perkins, president. Tamara Perkins at, you know, come on, man. You can't get a better shippers list. Here's another one. Safety Line Incorporated, right? Uniforms Manufacturers. Jim Calavan, whatever his name is, the owner. There's his, there's his phone number, his personal phone number, and his personal email address. Look at this right here. Let's let's find somebody who's not a president or a, a, an owner. Over here at, at Kojo, San Diego, California, 10 to $20 million in business, in sales, fabric manufacturing. You're going to get Tanya Allen, vice president, business development. Direct phone number, and T. Allen at you see that right there? Let's look at something else that's not a president or an owner. Um, vice president of West Coast Regional. There's a vice president number right there. There's another vice president number owner. Here's the one. Transportation manager. Royalty Carpet Mills Incorporated, Irving, California. Okay? Their volume is unknown, but carpet and rug manufacturers. I'm going to give you the name of Joseph Geis. He is the transportation manager, the person that makes the decision on whether to send you this shipper, their shippers list or not. Come on, people. This is the type of information you need access to if you're going to be successful at contacting direct shippers. And brokers, you need, you got to have direct shippers. You got to have access to shippers. You can't get your loan from other brokers. I know some people say, well, if we can do cold broker. That's illegal. <laughs> cold broker is double brokering. Cold brokering is devil brokering. Let me repeat that. Cold brokering is devil brokering. That's illegal. Okay? You might not get caught. Then again, you might get caught. <laughs> I wouldn't pay the bonds, all right? But it's always good to have access to your own ship. Okay? And with this many shippers you have access to, you stand a great chance of negotiating a great deal with a lot of loads that's coming to you every single day. Okay? Even as a dispatch firm, we have access to these shippers. We contact direct shippers, and we get loads directly from shippers. That's why we have such great, dedicated loads that we have as a dispatch firm. Okay, I mean, we, I, I I've been putting people on, you know, anywhere from from, from dry vans from three hundred thousand plus in dedicated loads, where they're home every night by six p.m. off every weekend, and they're making somewhere between three hundred k to, you know, 500, 600K um, per year. Drive in. Drive in. Dedicated. That's right. Running the same loads five days a week, 
home every night before 6 p.m. off every weekend. And those drive-in that we put on dedicated, so running some, are earning between 300K a year, upward to 500, 600K a year. Okay, flat beds, earning anywhere from 450, 500, 500K, up, upwards to 700K per year. Refrigerators, our dedicators are earning somewhere between oh, 580K, upward to 800, some close to nine, over $900,000 a year in refrigerators. Now, if y'all think I'm playing, tune in to one of our um, daily broadcasts that we do every morning, Monday through Friday, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. on the Lobo Report, where we actually show you all how we find freight and we give it away for free during that hour. Okay, we only get, that's all the time you're going to get some free from me. <laughs> that's all the time you're going to get some free from me. So if you are an on operator, you want some free load, the only time, your only chance to get a free load from me is to tune into the Lobo Report, call in to our toll free number doing the Lobo Report, and tell us what your trailer is and where you're at. And we'll look up a load and find you great paying loads. And I, I have even done dedicators doing a Lobo Report. Dedicated, doing a, where I find you a short run load, right? Leave it from, your home location, going to a certain spot, find a load going from there to a certain spot, then find a load from that second spot, going from, from that third spot, going back to your home, all in one day. All short run loads. By the time you finish running those short run loads and they're spaced out to where they're short run, then we interconnect them. And then we contact the brokers to see if those loads are running daily because most short run loads do run daily. And then we save the broker a whole bunch of trouble by having that carry that we assign those loads to, let the broker know that carry can run those loads every day. Broker then pencils them in, sets them in on those loads, then you have created a dedicated. A three pick up and drop dedicated. That's what you have done. And those loads usually pay somewhere but between $500 a piece and $1,000 a piece. So what you got is dedicated runs that have you going out from your home or close to, your, close to your home and back home by 6 p.m. in the afternoon because they're all short run loads and they're each paying between $500 and $1,000 each load. That's $1,500 to $2,500 to $3,000 per day, five days a week, off every weekend. Do the math on that, y'all. Do the math on that. That's how we do it, okay? So, and it becomes even easier when we have access to direct shippers. Let's go ahead and check in with our um, our YouTube channel. See who we got on here today. Come on, YouTube. YouTube, we got 11 people watching on YouTube. Oh, boy, look at here. We got people watching on YouTube. <laughs> hey, YouTube people. We have Busy Trucking. Good morning, Busy Trucking. Good morning to you. I thank you for joining us today. We have HHC Logistics, independent contractor. Good morning to you. Hey, class to you too. I appreciate you joining us today. Um, I like the direct freight load board. Hey, I love it. For y'all who don't know, direct freight is one of our load boards that we give access to uh, when you're uh, part of our network. Now, people talk about that, that, that. Don't get me wrong. I, that is a good load board. But in my opinion, it's way overpriced for what it does. Direct Freight gives you the same type of service, the same type of tools and resources. Oh, God. Easy to find backhauls and set up dedicated runs and everything. It gives you the rate per mile and all that type of stuff. I love that. And it gives you the live load alert. When new loads come on, it alerts you. Bing, bing, bing. You just hit the recycle button. It shows you all the new live loads. Now, <laughs> look, you can say what you want to. But I'd rather pay $39.95 per month than pay $149 a month for the same type of stuff. Okay? My opinion, well, you know, hey, take it, leave it. It don't make me no never mind. All right. But, yeah, you are right. You are right. I love that little boy. Christina, how you doing? Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Hands up to you, too. HAC Logistics again. Uh, contractors, Green Acres is the place to be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the inside joke, y'all, in case y'all don't know what we're talking about here. Box office <laughs> is logged in to us today. Intensity, 32 execution, top of the morning, everyone. Top of the morning. You, man, you must be from Fort Drum, New York. Was you ever in the 10 Mountain Business? Because that was our greeting every morning. We out there jogging, 
5 a.m., 4.30, 5 in the morning, 20 degrees below zero. We out there doing our morning runs at Fort Drum, New York. And when the commanders come out, top of the morning to you, sir. <laughs> so <laughs> you must be a Fort Drum, man. <laughs> uh, are there any car shippers for auto haulers? Oh, look, car shippers have their own thing, okay? There are car shippers, but you're going to have to go to um, – Darren Stevens is our auto hauler, our expert. What makes him an expert? Well, he started with our firm. He started with our training platform. I turned him on to the auto hall and showed him how to do it. And inside of a month, he was doing over ten thousand dollars per week in auto hall. So that was makes him an expert. Okay, so contact Darren Stevens. I will um give you his um his contact information by the end of the show. I uh, post it on here so you all can contact him and um see what um he can uh, do for you on the auto hauler. But I know. He uses a combination of um, sites. One is U-Ship. Okay, he uses U-Ship to find the clientele that have cars that need to be moved. And then he uses, um, well, he has his own network of, of auto haulers now. But he was using, um, what's that that, 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 that auto hauler site that's real popular that he was using. But uh, he was using that site to find the, the carriers to move those loads. But he'll show you exactly how he does that, and I'll put you in touch with him. All right. Um, let's see who else we got on here. Um, independent contractor. Yes, this is Carl Hall. Box office. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Appreciate you. Um, no, I'm from Oak Cliff. Okay. I spoke with you and Darren the other day. Hey, Darren's a good guy. Okay. Darren has a lot of knowledge up there in that head of his. Um, you know, he jumped onto our platform. And he just went with it. And my God, he is doing great. He is doing I'm, I'm talking about a guy who was doing eh, working a regular working two jobs at the time. I think he was working two or three jobs, you know, and 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 wasn't bringing home, you know, eight hundred, nine hundred bucks, you know, you know, per week, working two jobs, working three jobs. Okay. I think his job was paying him like maybe three hundred, three to four hundred dollars a week. Okay. I mean, I mean, the boy was hustling. The man was hustling. He was hustling. He's young, so I so I say, boy, I don't mean no disrespect, but he's young. He's young. I'm an old man. He's a young man. The young man was hustling. The young man was hustling. You know, trying to support his family and everything. When he joined our platform, he um he admitted that he didn't have the money. Platform. He had to borrow the money. He had to borrow the money to pay for the enrollment fee, which at that time was three hundred forty nine dollars ninety five cents. And he didn't know where he was going to get that monthly payment from that thirty nine dollars ninety five cents. So for the first 30 days, he hustled because <laughs> he didn't know where he was going to get that monthly payment from. Within the first 30 days, Darren had him a couple of carriers signed on to his dispatch firm, and he had started doing the auto hauler. Boy, hammers. Did he ever take to it life like a fish to water? <laughs> he did. He took to it like a fish to water, and before you know it, that man was just rocking and rolling, Okay. He and I are going to, uh, we're starting our own podcast that's going to be coming up here soon. In the near future, we were just talking last week. And we are starting our own podcast where we're going to be talking about how to make money within this industry. All the different ways of making money within this industry. Well, we're also going to talk about some stuff outside of the industry that he and I have collaborated on. Because we do a lot of stock trading. We use Robinhood and some other places and stuff. Things that we do where we do trade and stock. And we've done very well in it. You know, we bounce ideas off each other. We've done very well in it. So we're going to talk about that. We also both um, have been involved with MWR Financial, you know, a team of financial experts that has helped make wealth real for you and your family. We're very involved with that. So we're going to be talking about all that stuff during our podcast. And it's basically a podcast on how to create wealth, not just in the trucking industry, but overall how to create wealth. But I digress. I digress. Okay, someone just asked, where do we go? on the platform for freight broker training. Well, this is freight broker training, okay? This is freight broker training. Every Saturday, every Saturday, we have the Brokers Hour, which is our dedicated freight broker training. Now, if you want to go back and look at the Brokers Hour of episode one, two, and three, that would catch you up. But you'll notice that we're only doing freight broker training every Saturday. Now, when you join our platform, that's where you get the tools, the resources, and everything you need to access all the stuff you need to be successful as a freight broker or as a dispatcher, okay? You got to join our platform to get access to 
more than 19 million plus shippers. You got to get on our platform to get access to more than 100 load boards. You got to get, get our platform to get access to um, our um, all our back office tools and resources, our um, logistics learning center that has every word, phrase, and term ever used in trucking. You got to get on our platform to get access to our live training. Um, every week. You got to join the platform to get access to our 2,900 and some odd plus industry professionals that you get to network with. Shippers, distribution plant managers, owner operators, freight brokers, dispatchers, all those people are within our, within our network that you get to network with, talk to, bounce ideas off of each other, help each other to understand this industry. You help each other to be successful in the industry. Okay? So have you implemented the new YouTube payment tiers yet? We have started on it. We have them outside of YouTube. We're still working on getting all of the videos that we have on YouTube moved over. We got a lot of videos, y'all. We got more than 800, 900 plus of our videos. That's more than 140,000 hours of videos. So we're, we're, we're steadily moving those videos over to the membership area because you all would notice you don't have access to all the videos like you used to. We're, I mean, we're cutting into them. We're moving about uh, maybe 50 to 100 videos per week maybe 50 videos per week that we're moving over to the uh, membership platform. So um, just be patient with that. But you can, I'm going to give you all a link to our enrollment page where you can go ahead and enroll in the um, the premium membership, which is $99.95, which gives you access to everything that we offer. Plus you get three hours of private consultation time with me per month, every month. Okay, that's a three hundred dollar value because our private consultation started at a hundred dollars per hour. Okay, but through that membership, ninety nine dollars ninety five cents per month, no enrollment fee, just ninety nine dollars ninety five cents a month. You get access to everything we just talked about, plus you get three hours of private consultation with me every month. Okay, um, you can also get access to our members' choice membership, our best choice membership, which is that forty nine dollars ninety five cents per month, no enrollment fee. That's another one of our YouTube. Um, 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 membership set up, no enrollment fee. You get access to that. Um, forty nine dollars ninety five cent per month, no enrollment fee. You get access to everything that we talked about. Now you don't get the three hours of private consultation, but you get access to everything else. Okay. Um, and then we have our our other our regular enrollments too. All right. Woo! Got a lot of questions they had to cover. All right, <laughs> let's get back over here to our shippers database because they were talking about how to locate these shippers. Now, if you want to know how to negotiate with shippers, go back to last week's um, episode where we talked about negotiating with shippers. If you want to know how to set up your onboarding site to onboard shippers, go back to episode number two. Yeah, episode two, where we showed you our onboarding, our um, sample onboarding site and how your site should be set up to onboard shippers automatically. Okay. And then if you want to go back how to set up your brokerage firm how your broker firm should be set up, um, and that's going to save you time and help you uh, help you make more money by hiring two segments of people. You have your sales team and you have your booking team. Yeah, your sales team and your booking team. All you're doing is taking care of all the paperwork in between. And by doing that, everybody makes more money. Even the carriers that you're giving loads out to, they're making more money. So we'll go back to the first um, episode. To see that, I think, yeah, the first episode tells you about how you should be set up. Second episode tells you about your um how to set up your your um your onboarding site. Third episode, negotiating with shippers. This episode, how to find shippers. All right, there we go. Yeah, we up. All right, <laughs> okay. So this is dry van shippers. Let's go over here. And let's look at the database of. Step deck hot shot shippers. And here again, same, same deal. Same deal. We don't give you access to just random numbers. You know, we give you access to the exact person who is in charge of making that decision. Even here on the hot shot deal, Dish Network. That's right. Dish Network has stuff they ship too out of Detroit, Michigan. 10 to 20 million dollars cable manufacturing. You're going to contact Mr. Claude Graner. There's his phone number. There's his email address. Direct Claude Graner at 
dish retailer.com. Okay. Over here, Granite City. We have a ship of wire rope manufacturers. Okay. Five to $10 million in sales. You're going to talk to Mr. Terrence Discord. There's his number. There's his direct email address. Same thing down here, me, Cafe. Look, all these, are, all these are the same. Okay. You know, these are the same. These are, you know, these are, are, are the people who are in charge of making those decisions. Okay. These are all the people who are making the, in charge of making these decisions. You get their direct name and their direct email address. So you're not left speaking with somebody who can't make a decision. Okay. I, I hate cold calls, right? But let's face it, cold call is part of this business. If you hey cold call, what's the next best thing? Shooting out an email, but you got to make sure the email is going to the person who makes that decision. You don't just want to shoot an email to the company email address. <laughs> <laughs> and the people made the thing on never see that email. <laughs> I hate to tell y'all. If you're sending out emails to the regular, to the general company email address, ain't nobody seeing that crap. <laughs> ain't nobody monitoring that thing. They go through it. They got somebody who don't even, <laughs> probably don't even know how the company works um, that well. They're going through it and they're just bleep, bleep, bleep. They're purging all the emails. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Or they got some automated system that responds back to you. Thank you for sending the email. We'll give this some we'll give this some some consideration. We'll be in contact with you. <laughs> you know where from. Because once they have somebody go through and they purge all those old emails. They just pop, dump them in the spam and dump them. But if the email is going to the person who actually makes that decision and an email is coming across their personal email address, then they're gonna notice it. Right? And like when you make cold calls. When you're giving someone a pitch, you got 30 seconds, 30 seconds to impress them at, at best. Most time it's 10 to 15 seconds, but you got 30 seconds to make an impression upon them. So that email that you're sending them in the title page of the email, that's where you're going to impress them. And that's what's going to get them, the person making that decision, going to say, mm, let me check this out. You see the difference there? Okay, that's the difference. In being successful with contact the shippers and just you know wasting your time, Shoot, shooting a lot of cold call, shooting a lot of this and shooting a lot of that. Okay, you got to get first of all, you got to get in contact with the person that makes that decision. Secondly, you know you got to have the email address of the person that makes that decision, and then of course you got to pitch your pitch. You got to shoot. You got to shoot your shot. Swish, nothing but net, baby. <laughs> you got to shoot your shot, right? You got to shoot your shot. Feet got to be planted straight. Shoulders squared up. Get good height on your jump. Release at the top of your jump. Extend. Let, let the hand fall like that right there. You can just turn around and walk off. Woo, he got it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay? That's how it's done. All right. Shake back over here again. See what kind of questions we got. All right. Who else we got on here today? Okay, Trevor Young. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just talked about that. All right, all right, we just talked about that. All right, cool. All right, cool. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so there's the hot shots. And what is it? This is hot shots, flatbed, step deck, and hot shot shippers. That's what that is. Let's check out refrigerated shippers. Same thing. I'm just going through this showing you all what 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 you get access to when you join our platform, okay? Because this is really what this is this is all we're really going to talk about um, today. Because today is how to locate shippers and how do you I look, I don't know how you all locate shippers, what methods you're using. That's fine, but this is how we locate shippers, okay? So if you want to locate shippers like the way we do it, either join our platform or pay the money outside of our platform to join these different sites like Trucking Planet and all the other sites and stuff that we have access to. But I think we offer a good value because we offer you all the resources for as little as $29.95 per month if you're a veteran and you want to pay that enrollment fee of $249 on your enrollment fee. If you don't want to pay the enrollment fee, if you're not a veteran and you want just a small monthly payment of $39 per month, you pay the enrollment of $349.95. 
if you don't want to pay any type of enrollment fee, but still have a nice, you know, affordable monthly payment, just pay the the forty nine dollar ninety five cent on the best choice enrollment. Just pay forty nine dollar ninety five cent plus tax. And then you pay that every month. Plain and simple, you get access to everything. Okay, except for the private consultation. And then if you want the complete package with private consultation and everything all included, just go to the ninety nine dollar ninety five cent. Now, we have a platform. Um, we have another type of where you can gain access to all of this and make money at the same time. <laughs> yes, we have a franchise opportunity. Our well, look, our franchise op our opportunity not only allows you to make money from our different platform enrollments, but allows you to make money from the franchise itself. Okay. It also gives you access to all the tools and resources and everything that you want to have access to. So if 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 you want to have a way to make money and have access to all these tools and resources and everything at the same time, check out our franchise opportunity. And I'm gonna show you all, all of that here in just a moment. All right, but these are refrigerators. You know, um, I'm here again, same setup. Knoxville, Tennessee, House of of um, Thaler Incorporated, um, 10 to 20 million in sales, food preparation uh, manufacturers. You're going to contact Catherine Reed, the purchasing agent. That's the person in charge. That's the person in charge, y'all, of deciding if they're going to send you their shippers list or going to negotiate with you on the margins on, this, on, on their freight. Okay? That's who you need to contact. K. Reed. At how, at there is right there. Okay, um, same thing here. Food preparations and I don't where these names come from. I never heard some of these cities. Chicago, uh, Shosky, uh, Minnesota. I never heard of some of these names. But anyway, there it is. <laughs> Our food preparation. You're gonna talk to uh, Joe Pinto. Okay, vice president of sales. You're gonna call, contact him. You know, uh, and here's another one. Food preparation. You're going to talk to Arlene Jennings. And now these are refrigerated, so you're going to see a lot of food preparation because that's what usually has to be refrigerated. Um, you'll see that also in the uh, the medical stuff, too. Um, some of that stuff has to be refrigerated. Um, vaccines, medicines, all that type of stuff. Um, you know, uh, all that stuff has to be has to be refrigerated. So this is a lot of food uh, manufacturers, health, nutrition food, health food, uh, Mexican food, garlic, <laughs> um, spices, rice products, health food, all these have to be refrigerated. These are all refrigerated. And if you notice here, you're getting the direct contacts of the people who are in charge um, here again. Also, let's go down here to distributors and wholesalers. Um, this, is, this is one that a lot of people miss. Okay. A lot of people don't, a lot of people, a lot of brokers, and owner operators, they miss out on some great loads by not contacting distributors and wholesalers. Okay. For some reason, I don't know if that just is not, it doesn't pop up in you all's mind that these people have to ship. They do a lot of shipping. They have a lot of products to ship. They have a lot of stuff that needs to be shipped. Um, distributors and wholesalers, they're like, a go between, but that's what a shipper is anyway. A shipper is a go between, but they're more of a direct go between. But they have some great paying freight. They do, they do, <laughs> and a lot of time with these type of places, they have a lot of dedicated freight that these should go back and forth every single day. So here's a hint: if you're looking for some a lot of dedicated freight, contact distributors and wholesalers okay that's a tip for y'all distributors and wholesalers have a lot of dedicated freight okay now y'all know you got a lot of stuff coming out of anchorage alaska <laughs> that's right anchorage alaska why because these are distributors and wholesalers and you get a lot of fresh food you know duplicating uh machines copying you got a lot of stuff coming out of anchorage Okay, then you got Wyoming, you got Washington State, you know, up around there. 
But there's a lot of stuff coming out of Andrew Lashley, and you can bet those loads are paying like that. That freight is paying woo handsomely, handsomely. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're getting freight that's coming out of Anchorage, Alaska, is paying. It's paying. Now y'all be like, well, how are you gonna get a truck down there in Alaska? Well, the, the truck picks it up there and takes it to the airport, and then, <laughs> and then the plane brings it over here and then picks it up from there. Or the truck takes it to a shipyard with those big cutters that cut through the ice or whatever, whatever. And then they get it over here and they went there to the port and they come in and they need to pick it up at the port. <coughs> That's how that works, y'all. Okay, but you can make those connections with those and get a lot of that good paying freight from the from from the jump. Okay, so but there you go there too. All right. Also, you have fresh food, agriculture, and horticulture shippers. Okay, um, animal rescue, hunting and fishing preserves, fishery consultants, animal rescue, animal rescue, wildlife services. This is horticulture stuff. Okay, this is horticulture. That's what they call horticulture. Okay, um, hunting and fishing pre uh, preserves, uh, fishery consultants, a lot of that type of stuff. Okay. Um, they have good paying freight too, and a lot of times they're dedicated. Their stuff is is dedicated as well. And here again, you get the name of the person who's charge, the finance executive, the president, director of education and outreach of these, these animal rescue places. They have to move these these animals, you know, across the country when they are trying to rescue these animals and stuff. They got to ship them to these wildlife preserves and all that sort of stuff. So you know, you got to and, and 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 how does they get done? Trucks. Okay, semis, trucks. Okay, these, you know, these animal haulers. You know, these these livestock type things like that. Trucks. There's money in that, people. A lot of y'all forget this other stuff that needs to move too. A lot of y'all forget that, but here it is. We give you access to everything. So you get access to everything. Um, importers, um, and exporters. Let's shift down here to medical equipment. Now, a lot of this medical equipment stuff. Is gonna be refrigerated. Some of it is dry van, but most of it is gonna be refrigerated. A lot of medical stuff is gonna have to be kept at you know certain temperatures, sterilizing apparatus, medical electronics that can be flat bed. I mean that can be dry van or uh, I, I wouldn't do it. I, I wouldn't think that's um, flat bed. Um, you know, being the electronics, um, sterilizing apparatus, you know, X-ray machines, you know, all that type of stuff, ultraviolet ray lamps, um, oxygen, medical. You know, you got to be pressurized. And it's just a whole bunch of stuff. But this stuff pays well. This is good paying freight. It pays well. Okay? It pays well. So keep those in mind, too. Okay? And then down here you have third-party um, and commercial warehouses and review of all freight rates. All right. So that's one of the ways that we locate shippers directly. Now, there's another one that we use. And their their site was down for a while. Let's see if it's back up again. Let's see if their site is back up again. Their site was down for for a short period of time, but I'm gonna try and see if they're back up. Um, what we at here? Agreements form. I have them up here in the resources area, right here. Now, this is a government site. I'm going to see if they're back up. Yep, they're back up. Good. Now, this is a government site. I like this site. Okay? This is a government site that we have access to. Okay? This is where every shipper, all 19 million plus shippers in the country are listed in this government site. Now, what I like about government sites is you don't get any bad you know, shippers. You run less of a chance of, of calling a shipper that's out of business. Okay, because with government sites, as new shippers come on, they are added every week. It's updated, you know, daily or weekly. As shippers go out of business, it's updated and they're taken off the list. And here's what I like about this: when you go in here and you put in what you're looking for, let's just salt, grain, lumber, you know, produce, livestock, whatever. Let's just put in lumber. I'm gonna. I'm going to type in lumber, and I'm going to click search. Uh, please use less than three characters. Hold on here. Let's, hold on. Do I have, what I got going on here? 
I think my I think there's something that's typed in there that shouldn't be there. Y'all give me a minute. Let me um. Uh, Uh oh. There's something in there that's that's stuck. I know they was having problems with this site, and this might be one of the problems that they're having. I don't know if they got to clear it up or not. Um, let me redo the site again. Let me redo the site again. All right. Search. Okay, search pattern is too short. Please use at least three cats. All right. L U M B R lumber. It's saying that the search pattern, it, it's got something in here that's not allowing me to type in the search pattern. Because well, I'm typing in, I'm typing in lumber. And it should be pulling up, but it's not recognizing what I'm typing in for some reason. All right. Apparently, they're still having problems. But I, but I, but I really like this site because it pulls up when it does when it is working right. Let's do this. Let's go down here to the browse by heading. Um, let's say if you're looking for uh, cabinets, whatever it could be, let's do that. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. See, this is what it does. When it's working right, it will pull up you know the different types of companies that ship cabinets. Or if you're doing lumbers, it should you know, pull up all the lumber shippers. Or if it's pulling up, you know whatever, whatever it, it will pull up whatever type of shippers you put in. Whatever product you put in, it will pull up the you know what it's um doing for it. If you're going on just cabinets, you can click the supplier of cabinets, and then it's gonna see it's not it's not doing this the way I wanted to do it, but you gotta go through all these different things now to um to get to it. But this is what but when it's working right, you just put in cabinets. And you, you don't have to go through all these different clicks, um, like I just did. You're just going to go through cabinets. They're going to show you all the companies that ship cabinets. And then you, then you pick one, and then it's going to pull up this right here, okay? Like this one, uh, here's a company that ships cabinets, or whatever. And here's the information. All the information is here, the, you know, the website, your phone numbers, you know, the distributor, all that type of stuff. Now, here's what I like about it. Down here, you see here, it has an estimated shipping rates from their home, from 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 where they are located at to whatever state you put in. So if you put in, I want to see what it is to ship these cabinets to Kentucky. All right? When you put that in, it shows you what they would pay per pallet, partial van, and for a truckload. Okay? It kind of gives you the, the starting rates. Hold on here. There's another one right there. Then if you go down here, let's say the Illinois, see it changes on um, each time you put it in a state. So it, it 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 gives you what they generally would pay to move that freight to wherever it is you're trying to move it to. Okay? So that's why I like this one, you know, because it because it you know, it gives you a, you know a lot of great information. Um, I wish I could. I'd be glad when they get it back up and running the way it's supposed to, because the way it's supposed to run, you're supposed to be able to just type in what you're looking for, like see it's lumber, and it's supposed to just pull that up, but it's having a problem with recognizing that. For some reason, right now, um, let's go to home. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Save. Nope, it's still not doing it. Still not doing it. It's still not doing it. So they're still having some having some issues 
with the functionality because it was working great about four about four weeks ago. And sometime in the last week, it started acting up, and then the site was down for about a whole week, and now it's just now coming back up. So hopefully they get, they'll get that worked out. But you can still search for stuff by coming down here to the categories. And if you go down here and you want to type in stuff like you know, machines, um, liners, and that's how you can browse by headings if you want to do that. But I like I like being able to just type in um, what I'm looking for, and it just pulls it up. But they've got to get it back up and going like the way it should be. But that's another one that we use. I'm also too, and that was that's the government site that we use. You know, so I'm I'm waiting for the government. You know, they got that budget thing going on. Maybe that wasn't their budget. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully they get the budget thing worked out and they'll get this worked out. So I don't know if that's the problem or what's going on with them. They didn't have it in their budget. Um, um, yeah, I yeah, I did that. Click products. Yeah, I did that too. Um, and it, and for some reason, it's just, you know, it's not allowing me to um, do what we need to do on that. But it is what it is. Okay. Someone asked a question. Um, Tina asked a question. Once we have a shipper's interest and they send you the load in, the load info and ask for a price quote, is there a tool for that? How do you know what to quote them? Look, there is no tool for price quotes. <laughs> that's, that's called negotiation, baby. That's where your negotiating skills come in. This is why we train. This is why we did the episode last week, how to negotiate. Go back and watch. I'm telling you. Go back and watch last week's episode when we talked about negotiating. It all become clear to you, okay? Negotiating is has nothing to do with numbers, and we talked about that last week, okay? Last week we talked about how a lot of people confuse negotiating with numbers. There is no tool that you can use that's going to show you how to properly negotiate. Negotiating is about extenuating circumstances outside of numbers. Negotiating has very little to do with numbers. Negotiating has everything. Y'all pay attention to me. Negotiating has everything to do with circumstances. Like, let's take this. We talked about this last week, okay? Damien is, is, is signing in. Uh, hey, Damien, what's up, man? Hey, Damien, what's up? What's going on? Not much, man. We were, we were just talking about you, man. Some people were asking me about the auto hauling. I told them that I would give them your contact information, and uh, we can make that happen. So if you want, okay, to okay. So if you want to type in your contact information, and I'll share it with the people over here on YouTube, and they can contact you. Now, this is Damien. This is the guy I was telling you all about who started with our platform. He, and and David, <laughs> did you admit to me when you started our platform, you didn't have the money for it? You had to borrow the money. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but within a month or so, you was rocking and rolling on that auto haul freight. Yes, I was. Yeah, because you had got to do how much uh, per week at one time? Uh, 10,000. 10, 10,000 a week, y'all. Look, I know y'all thought I was lying to you, but but you hear it right from the horse's mouth. <laughs> okay, uh, 10,000 a week. And now he is, he, he is set up to the point now to where even his regular dispatcher is pretty much guaranteeing him close to three thousand dollars a week, guarantee. It's like it's on automated almost, right there. I lost the voice. Yeah. Now, right now, I, I mute for a second. Um, yeah, yeah, that that that's correct, man. I actually came in late because I had some weekend trucks that um, I was trying to find loads for. So that's why I'm okay. That's why I'm in late. Hey, it's always good to get, get that weekend business though. That's yeah. always good. <laughs> look, y'all. Look. So, um, but you know, that's what we're talking about. Damon's gonna shoot me his information so I can shoot it out to you all. Um, I'm gonna um gonna type it in right here. So if you want to do the auto hauling, um contact Damien. Okay. If you want to do the auto hauling, let me put down here auto hauling. Auto hauling. If you want to do the auto hauling, contact this gentleman right here. And he'll tell you all how to set up a private consultation with him. Okay. Now, private consultation, they're not free. They're $100 now. 
<laughs> right, Damon? They're not free. You all are going to have to pay for his knowledge because knowledge is valuable, okay? You know, his, his, his time, his knowledge is not free. So if you want to learn how to do the auto hauling, that's the man to talk to right there. Damien Stevens is the person to talk to. Now, you all will notice I'm actually in my um, from homeless to self-made millionaire account. That's right. I was homeless. <laughs> so, look, <laughs> and this is one of the things that helped me to, to get where I am now is the trucking industry. And I, I was telling them about our podcast that, um, that we're going to start doing, Damien, on, on, on how to create wealth, not just in the trucking industry, but in general. We're going to talk about how, you know, how you make money from home. You know, how do you do these things and make money? So, but, uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> I was homeless about 10, 12 years ago. I was flat, broke, homeless, you know, and um, the trucking industry is one of the things that I jumped onto and started doing and, you know, all this booking freight from home and all that type of stuff. And my God, it was an eye opener because this money is this. Well, this company, this this industry is full of opportunity. It truly is, if done right. If done right, <laughs> okay. This company, this this it, this industry, trucking, freight, you know, dispatching, freight brokering, owner operator, whatever you're doing within the trucking industry is full of opportunities, and there are opportunities within opportunities, and that's. That's what we're going to be sharing with you all before we get off here. But if you all want to schedule a private consultation with Damon Stevens and want to know about the auto hauling, because he's our he's the auto hauling, I'm expert. Give him a call. He'll, he'll tell you how to schedule your private consultation. Now, granted, y'all, please, please, please don't call the man up and try to get a whole bunch of uh, of information from him for free, because this is a business like anything else. This is a business, okay? And don't. Start trying to take advantage of people, or trying to get something for nothing. Okay, let's let, 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 let's be real about that. We are putting a lot of time and effort into putting putting on you know this platform. You know, we take time out uh, from, from our families to talk to you all about the industry and to show you all how to do things. And and knowledge is come on, it's value. It's value. That's why you have an industry of consultants. Because you have to pay for the right knowledge. You get what you pay for. Okay, that, it, it's just simple as that. So don't try to call up, you know, and, and then you have a million questions, but you don't want to schedule a private consultation. No, that's a no-go. I'm just being straight with you. That's a no-go. Okay, I, I had to tell someone the other night. Someone was sending me something, called me up, and I told them to, to, to contact me to set up a private consultation. They want to call me up, and they want to have a try to, they, they, they try to lead you into doing a private consultation for, for free. And I just straight out told them, look, if you want to know more about how to do this, you're going to have to schedule a private consultation. And they're like, well, I got you on the phone right now. No, no, because you got me on the phone right now. But 15 minutes from now, I got a private consultation that's scheduled with someone who paid for a private consultation. So I can't stay on the phone with you anyway. Secondly, you know, my time is not free. My time is not free. Darren's time is not free. Okay. Your time is not free, all right? I wouldn't ask you all to whatever job you're in, I wouldn't come into your place of business and ask you to, to serve me for free. That's not how it works, okay? This is a business like everything else, okay? So please be considerate of that and be mindful of that. And why is Darren's arm information so valuable? Because he got up to doing $10,000 a week in an auto hall, and that's why it's so valuable. Okay, if, if if that's not enough reason, I don't know what it is. Okay, that's just that's just straight. High. Y'all know me. I tell you how how like my grandma used to say how T S I S E is. <laughs> don't don't ask what that stands for. <laughs> I just know she used to say it all the time. That's how T S I S E is. <laughs> okay, whatever that bit. <laughs> that bit it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, really. So I guess that's what it bit. All right, all right. So. There we've talked about how to find shippers using our platform. Now, if you all want to, you know, buy shippers list, continue to buy shippers list, that's fine. But you can join our platform. I'm going to show you all the different ways to join our platform. Let's go back over here. If you, if you want to join our platform, this is how you join our platform. 
you simply go to mydispatcher.org, okay? I'm going to take you over here to our homepage. Move this stuff out the way so I can see it. You're going to go to mydispatcher.org, okay? Let me copy this and paste this for you all. This is where you go to access. Uh oh, I got the wrong thing in this deal. Let me go back to the home page. I don't know what's going on with my thing here. Let me go back to the home page here. I'll give it a moment. There we go. Copy. All right. Go to mydispatcher.org. Let me, let me type this in for you all. There it is right there. That's where you go to get to our homepage. I got so much stuff popping up. I hate all these pop-ups, you know, when they're popping up like that. It's just a distraction, really. All right. So you're going to scroll down up to the middle of the page. When you get to the middle of the page, you're going to see a video. Underneath that video, you're going to see where it says click here. Okay? That's going to take you over to our automated enrollment page. I'm going to give you all the link to the automated enrollment page. Okay? So if you want to just go straight there, I'm going to give you all that link too. Here's the, the enrollment page. Type that in. Enrollment link. All right, there's the enrollment link, okay? There's the enrollment link for those of you who want to know how to enroll within our platform. All right, that's the enrollment link. You all can copy it, paste it, you know, how you want to do it. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's allowing you all to click on it on here, but you can, but you can easily copy it and paste it, you know, into your, what you call it. All right. I might need to be over to my other, what you call it, thing here. Hold on. Let me log on to my other YouTube channel. Let me log on to my other YouTube, my um, home YouTube site. That's probably why it's not showing up the link, because I'm not in my actual RB Red site. I was in my, from homeless to self-made millionaire. Um, um, YouTube channel. All right. Now let me try it now. Let me copy it in here. And then I think it'll, it should pop up as a witch card now. Yeah. Now, see, now it pops up as a, um, you know, an actual link. All right. Yeah, because it, it, it wasn't even showing up, you know, as the other one. All right. There, all right. There it is. All right. Um, there it is. Uh, I hope y'all got Darren's um, information too. If not, let me give y'all that again. Let me give y'all Darren's information again for the auto hauler. Let me shoot that over to you all. All right. This is auto hauler. Auto hauling. All right. That's what you contact for auto hauling. All right. There y'all have it right there. There's Damien's number for auto hauling. There's the number to the, um, the link up there is the link to the enrollment site. The enrollment site again. Make sure I got this right for you all. Where are log in? Why is that log in? I'm not trying to log in. No, I'm not trying to log in. My bad. I'm not trying to log in. I was trying to. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. The enrollment page again is this right here. Let me put this over here again. Now I'm in the right account. All right. Enrollment.
All right, that's the enrollment. There's the link that you all can actually click on now. All right, you all can click on that link. That takes you over um, to the enrollment. When you get to the enrollment page, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see all the different types of enrollment. And I'm going to break them down for you all. All right. If you want the lowest monthly payment, the lowest monthly payment, you're going to have to you're gonna have to enroll in one of our um, platform in, uh, um, enrollments that requires an enrollment fee. Now, six in one hand, half a dozen in the next. That's basically what this breaks out to. If you are a veteran and you want just to pay just twenty nine dollars and ninety five cent per month, you're gonna click here where it says Veterans Platform Enrollment. You're gonna click that, and that's gonna take you over to the Veterans Enrollment. You're not you're gonna pay $249.95. But your monthly payment subscription fee is only gonna be $29.95 per month thereafter. Okay, that gives you access to everything you need to have access to, except for the free private consultation. You still have to schedule and pay for private consultation, but you get access to everything, access to more than 100 low boards, access to more than 19 million plus shippers, access to owner operators locator sites, access to our logistics library. These tools and resources are meant to save you money because you're going to need access to low boards. A lot of you all are paying. I talked to a guy on Facebook um, last night that said he was paying for seven low boards. Okay, That's a lot of low boards to be paying for. His total payout for low board access, he was paying over the, close to $300 a month for low board access to seven different low boards. Seven different low boards. He was paying close to, if not, a little over $300 per month for low board access. For our most expensive um, um, access, it's a $99 and, and 99 and 95 cents per month for the premium um, access. That's a, and that, all of our all of our memberships, all of our subscription memberships give you access to more than 100 low boards. So if you're paying for multiple low boards right now, it makes sense to join our platform just to save money on low board access. If you are a shipper and you're paying for shippers list, I've had people to call me up and say they've, they've been paying $500 to $2,500 per shippers list. And half the numbers and companies on the list are out of business. <laughs> and, and they're paying for this stuff, $500 to $2,500 for shippers list. Where you can join our platform and pay anywhere from $29 a month up to $99 a month, have access to all 19 million plus shippers, plus access to 100 low boards, to more than 100 low boards. On top of that, you get access to our logistics library, as every word, phrase, and term ever used in trucking. On top of that, you get access to our um, owner-operator locator site, where you can locate every owner-operator in every state. On top of that, you get access to our network of more than 2,900 and industry professionals that you get to network with. On top of that, you get access to our live training every week. On top of that, you get access to 140,000 hours plus 1,000 hours of live recorded operational training videos. I don't care how you look at our platform. Even if you don't need the training, our platform saves you money. And I'm going to show you how, you can, how our platform can help make you money if you opt for the franchise. Because if you opt for the franchise, not only do you get the ability to make money like we make money, right there, Darren makes money from the from the franchise, <laughs> right? He makes residual income and he gets paid commissions, right? Because I think Darren's got like seventy five dollars commission coming from private consultation, plus he got a, a commission coming from someone who signed up last week um, on the forty nine dollar one, so he got that coming. Plus, he got his regular monthly residuals from the people he signed up you know, in the past who were paying them monthly fees. Come on. Who does that type of stuff? <laughs> we do. <laughs> okay? And so you can do that, too. Now, let me show you another um, enrollment. Now, if you're not a veteran and you still don't want to pay $49 or $99 a month, but you want to pay $39 a month, you can join under the regular enrollment, $349.95. The $349.95. Um, on your enrollment fee and your monthly um, 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 subscription fee is going to be $39.95 per month, okay? Or you can enroll under one of our premium best choice um, enrollments. 
you have the best choice enrollment, which requires no upfront enrollment fee. It's just $49.95 per month. That is probably the all-around most affordable one that we have. The all-around. $49.95 per month. What did you get with that? You're going to get access to all the platform stuff that we have access to, except for the private consultation. Okay? You get access to more than 100 load boards, more than 19 million shippers, on operators located site, logistics library, 140,000 hours of videos, training, live training, our network, whole nine yards, everything except for the free private consultation. Okay? So that's just $49.95, okay, per month. Plain and simple. You know, cancel any time. That's on you. You know, when you cancel, you stop getting access to everything. Simple as that. But why would you cancel if you're getting access to more than 100 loadboards and you're saving yourself a few hundred dollars per month on low board access? Or you're saving yourself, oh, God knows how much on shipper lists and everything else. Okay? So those are reasons to join our platform outside of the training. Now, we also have the $99 premium platform membership, which comes with three hours of monthly private consultations included. So that means every month you get up to three hours of private consultations with me, personally with me. Okay? That's what you get. And it's $99 to $0.95 cent per month. There's no there's no, no big enrollment fee. You just pay $99 to $0.95 cent, you know, um, for your first month, and you pay $99 to $0.95 cent every, month at, every month after that. And that three hours of private consultation, that's a $300 value by itself. Because for private consultation, we charge $100 per hour, okay, for private consultation. But this, you get three hours of private consultation with me every month. All right. Now, let's talk about this franchise. Because here's here's what I want y'all to know about the franchise opportunity. You have an opportunity to make money exactly the way I make money. Exactly the way I make money with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. Okay. The franchise is $4,999.95. If you want to buy the franchise outright, that's what you pay. $4,995.95. You buy it outright, it's yours. You, you promote it. Everybody that signs up, you get half of the enrollment fees and you get half of the monthly subscription fees. Now, if you don't, if you can't afford to pay it all out, you can finance it. We have financing options. With 10% down, $499.95 is your down payment. And then you can opt for one, two, or three year financing. Okay. Interest is occurred on the finance. You can't finance and not have interest. So interest is occurred on the finance. Now, what are you getting for that? Not only does becoming a franchise owner give you access to our back office site, the network, the platform, the whole nine yards. So if you want to make money from our platform and you want our platform to give you the tools and resources and everything, join the franchise. $499.95, okay, on the finance. And you get immediate access to everything that everyone else has access to. And you also are listed as a contractor with our company on our Square site. We give you access to our back office Square. Look, you have your own login where you can make use of our virtual terminal where you can go in and access all of our franchise, all of our, our, our enrollments where then you can promote this. And when someone calls you up or contacts you by email or through Facebook or they call you, hey, I want to get signed up for this RBS Logistics Learning Center. When they do that, you simply go to your, what, virtual terminal, click on the items, it pulls up what you pull up here, and then you go through the virtual terminal and you process their enrollment. You take their payment by credit card, you square, you process it, and when it processes, it's going to give you the credit for that sale. So it pops up in my back office site that that sale is attributed to Darren Stevens or to Tanya or to Cynthia. And every week, you get paid on your enrollments 
So if someone clicked on something, they paid an enrollment fee, you get half of that enrollment at the end of that week. Every month, you get paid on your monthly residual, on their monthly subscription fee. That's right. You make residual income. So not only do you get a commission for the enrollment, which is 50% of whatever the enrollment fee is, you get a 50% residual income from their monthly subscription. Now, I don't have to tell y'all, that could add up to a lot of money by itself. Not to mention, you got all the tools and resources, everything you need to become a dispatch firm or be successful as your own freight brokerage firm. So it's like there are you have multiple ways of generating revenue with our platform. Now, how does this work out? This is your opportunity to profit from one of the most sought after and fastest growing subscription-based logistics training and networking platforms in the industry. It has just become more affordable to take advantage of. The RBBS Logistics Learning Center franchise costs $4,995 financed with 10% down, $499.95 plus tax. After down payment is confirmed, you'll receive an email request uh, requesting your selection of one, two, or three-year financing options. 30 days later, you'll begin receiving your monthly invoice for payments. All transactions are final. The following franchise payouts are based on the member referrals and enrollments processed by the franchisee. Franchisee payout, 50% of $249.95 to $349.95 of the individual enrollments. 50% of the $29.95 to the $39. Actually, that's all the way up to the $99.95. We added those, those other two, $49.95 and the $99.95. So it's actually going to be 50% of $29.95 up to $99.95 on the monthly subscription and membership. I'll make that, that update. I hadn't made that update on this, um, this page yet. 50% of the $699.95 to $2,499.95 on the corporate enrollments. We have corporate enrollments too, but companies can enroll within our platform and they can include their employees all for one fee and one monthly subscription fee. So if you enroll someone in the corporate enrollment, we have lots of people enrolling in corporate enrollment because they don't want to train their people. They let us train them while they concentrate on scaling their business. Okay? But if someone enrolls in the corporate enrollment 1.0, $699, you're going to get half of that. If they enroll into the corporate enrollment unlimited, $2,499.95, you're going to get half of that on your upfront commission. Then you have your monthly subscription fees, 50% of the $99.95 to the $299.95 corporate monthly subscription. Because corporate enrollees, their monthly subscription fees range from $99.95 up to $299.95. When you sign up a corporate company for a corporate enrollment, you're going to get half of their monthly subscription fee. Every month they pay their monthly subscription. 50% of the $4,999.95 on the franchise fee. So as a franchisee, if someone signs up for a franchise, if you sign someone up for a franchise, guess what? You're going to get half of what the franchise costs. We're going to pay you 50%. So if someone pays out that $4,995, and we have had people to, pay, people to do that, because some people out there got it like that. They just pay the whole $4,995.95. And you get half of that when they do that. Or if they do the, the down payment, the $499.95, you get half of the down payment. And you get half of their finance fee. So whatever they're financing for one, two, or three-year financing, whatever their payment comes out to be, whether it's $140 per month, whether it's $99 per month, whether it's $187, dollars it depends on how long they finance it is going to determine their, uh, their payment. The longer they finance it for, the smaller their payment is. The shorter they finance it for, the larger their monthly payment is. But the longer they finance it for, the more interest they pay. But you're going to get half of those monthly finance charges, okay? And if you elect to become a private consultant, like Darren, like Larissa Pompey, like Katrina Underwood, like uh, Kwame Smith, you'll be paid 75% of the $100 per hour consultation rates after industry knowledge level has been assessed. In other words, you can't become a private consultant, you can't become a private consultant 
within our firm until I have done a review of your skill set. We'll schedule what's we'll schedule a Zoom meeting and then we'll go over some stuff for me to determine what your what level of expertise or what's your level of knowledge in this industry. Because we don't want to just have private consultants who don't know what the hell they're talking about. You got to know what you're talking about. You got to be able to give good, solid, strong advice to be a private consultant. And in doing that, I'm going to do an evaluation of you. And then once we do that evaluation, then we'll let you know if you are suitable to be a private um, consultant with our firm. If you are selected to be a private consultant with our firm, you will receive 75%. You'll be paid $75 per hour for your private consultation. Okay? And you can ask Darren. If Darren has done a few private consultations, and those private consultations, uh, I mean, if you know what you're talking about, you're basically just giving people your advice. That's all you're doing. You're giving people your expert advice. Darren is an expert when it comes to auto hauling. So, therefore, his expertise is worth that $100 per hour. And he gets $75 of that hundred dollars per hour on when he's doing private consultation. Okay. Private consultation by itself could be a six figure income every year. Trust me on that. <laughs> it can be. Okay. You get enough you do enough private consultation that can total up to a six figure income by itself. So that is how you make money within our platform. Okay. Um this is one great Saturday. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a logistic. Uh, it is a great Saturday. Uh, the best choice comes with the low board. Yes, it does. Best choice does come with the low board. Trevor Young says he's buying it now. Okay, Trevor Young, as soon as I get off this, I will look for it and I'll process it. And I normally don't process stuff on the weekend, but because you're signing up doing this broadcast, I will go ahead and process it today as soon as I get off of here, okay? Um, um, but yeah, the best choice comes with the low board. Best choice comes with Oh, yeah, he was asking me that same question. All right. But, yeah, the best choice comes with the low board. All of our sign-ups that you see you know, in our back come with the low board. All of them come with the low board. All of them come with the um, the access to 19 million plus shippers. All of them come with the access to the owner-operator's um, locator site. All of them come with access to 140,000 hours of video. All of them come with access to the logistics library. All of them come with access to our professional network. They all come, all of them come with access to live training. So you can come in and to the Zoom training like Darren did today and be on live where you can talk to me live. I can show you stuff live and we can do stuff like that live. All of them come with that. The only one that comes with the free three hours of consultation every month is the $99.95 per month uh, premium um, enrollment. That's uh, premium membership. That's the only one that comes with that. All right. But um, but I'm telling you, if you want to make money, if you want to make some serious money, opt for the franchise, okay? Because with the franchise, with the franchise, you get all the access and the ability to make money the same way we make money, okay? With the franchise, you get access to make money the way we make money, Um Franchise opportunity. Here's the franchise link right there. There's the franchise link right there. Okay? So you get access to all of that, and you get access to the opportunity to make money. Look, everybody, I appreciate all y'all. Darren, look, man, and I thank you for joining us. You got anything you want to say to everybody before we go? Yeah, man. Um, I mean, you know, once this platform, I notice a lot of people, they come in, they get frustrated, but you just have to do the work, you know, get your carriers. Exactly. Um, once you get one carrier, it's just smooth sailing from there. Um, so, I mean, because uh -huh. I was there when I just started, you know, making calls to carry. And I said, man, I can't get and until I got that one carrying. From then on, I'm just going up the hill, really. Exactly. You know, you gotta just mean, do the work and trust me, it'll, it'll definitely pay off. Exactly. Look, it, 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 it's just like you said. You just got to do the work. Okay, we provide you with everything you need to make it happen. We do. Right there, you got everything you need to make this happen. The low boards, the good low boards, you find great lows on the low boards. You know, access to the shippers, 
They're real shippers. You can contact them. The advice that we give, the training that we, if you just, we give you everything you need to be successful. All you got to do is just make it happen. That's all you got to do. But I'm telling you, this industry would do it for you. Derek, can you ever see yourself going back to work the way you were before you started this? Uh, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> heck no. You know, I, you know, when you start doing it, you reach a point where you start, you know, venturing to other stuff, you know, because I reach a point exactly. where now I start doing boats, I start doing um, RVs, you, you know, motorcycles. So, you know, you, you, you learn while you, you know, while you're on your way to, <clears throat> to dispatching, really. Exactly. And that's what we mean by this industry has opportunities within opportunity. I mean, literally it does. This industry has opportunities within opportunities. And you, when you, when you get into this, you start figuring out your niche. And all we're doing is we're providing you the tools and resources so that you don't have to pay a whole lot of money while you're trying to figure that stuff out. You know, you're going through, you're paying your little $39 a month, your little $49 a month, your little $99 a month, whatever you're paying. And you got access to everything else that people outside of our platform are paying, you know, two, three, four hundred, five hundred dollars a month for. We, I mean, we literally obliterated your overhead. So you can really concentrate on making this happen. Like Darren said, just do the work. Just do the work. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We have people that join our platform that don't do the work and they don't they don't make a damn thing because they don't do the work. <laughs> All right. But those that do the work, I mean, come on. You work harder than this at your regular job, right there? Yeah, that's right. I, mean, I know I did. Before I was doing this when I was homeless, I was going to the labor hall. Yeah, the labor hall. From the homeless shelter, going to the labor hall, they would send me out to work on construction jobs. Woo, digging in that red Georgia clay on construction jobs in the middle of the summer. People were, I mean, guys were passing out, y'all. I wasn't like I am now. I got fat now because I'm sitting behind a desk and I make good money sitting at home. <laughs> but by then, <laughs> by then, I was like 175, 180 pounds. This is just 10 years ago, y'all. At one time, I was 175, 180 pounds. I didn't have all this. <laughs> But by then, I was 175, 180 pounds, walking to the labor hall. They're sending out these construction sites. And I'm there. This one construction site I was on, we was building a school from the ground up. And we had to um, do the groundbreaking. We're, and we doing the groundbreaking. Yeah, they got like, you know, bike holes and stuff. But they gave us, guess what they gave us? They didn't put me on no bike hole. They gave me a pick and a shovel. <laughs> and a bunch of them out there with picks and shovel. In that red Georgia clay. And I don't know if y'all know anything about that red Georgia clay. But my God, it's like hitting concrete with that pit. And you digging out there, and it was in the middle of the summer. I'm talking about 99 to 100, 203 degrees. Guys were falling out. Boom. They had to call the helicopter, the life flight, come out, pick guys up, and take them to the hospital. That's hard work. And I lie to you not, there was one day we was out there couple of guys hit the ground right behind each other. Boom, boom. Life flight comes out, pick them two up. As it was flying off, another guy passed out. Life flight had to turn around, come back and pick that guy up. We were doing all that for $7.90 per, per hour. <laughs> now, if y'all want to talk about hard work, I know hard work. And I'm telling you, this ain't hard. <laughs> this is not hard work. Does it require you to put an effort into it? Yes. You have to put an effort into it. Darren, by what time of the day are you done with working? Uh, sometime 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. At the most, at the most, you're done by 1, 2 o'clock, right? Yeah. All right. And, and you're on track to do $100,000 this year again, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. Get up, get up Great. and see. Hey, now look, our work day starts at about 6 a.m., but by 11, most cases, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, we're done. And we're doing over 100,000 a year. You know, I'm at the point where I'm doing well over that. Darren is doing over 100,000 a year. Many people are doing this stuff, and they're doing 100,000 a year, and they're done. They're done working 
the done by 11, 12 o'clock. And then, then after that, we just get on social media and just post stuff, don't we dare? <laughs> I spend my day on social media, you know, my wife is out doing her cleaning thing with her cleaning um, um, business. I'm on social media all, all day long, just posting to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and YouTube and whatever, whatever. I get on and do a live every now and then. But my work day consists between 6 a.m. and about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That's it. 6 a.m. to 11 to 12. That's the actual booking freight part. I get up, I do the low board report. That's the first thing. Immediately after the load board report, I check on my dedicateds, all the trucks that have dedicated runs. I check on them to make sure that they're picking up their loads on time. I just do a check on them. That's it. I'm just managing. That's all I'm doing. I may call some of the dispatchers uh, that work for, uh, for my firm. I, you know, I'll get on the little you know, uh, FaceTime and I'll FaceTime them to see how they're doing. Make sure and check on the ones that have the big accounts and stuff that are doing well. Make sure they're doing okay. I'm just managing. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And I showed y'all my W-2s from last year. I'm not W-2. My 1099, my personal um, 1099 of what I paid myself was over $174,000 last year. I showed y'all my 1099s. Okay? That's what I paid. Now, that's not what my company makes. That's what I pay myself. That's another trainer where we should. That's, that, that's another trainer that, that, that Damon and I, Darren and I, uh, 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 going to get into on the podcast where we're talking about how to separate your company's um, income from your personal income. We're going to talk about that and show, show you how to what, Darren? Grow, protect, and what? Protect, grow, and what's the third one, Darren? That Lou Damon? How to save, grow, and protect your money. Okay, how to save, grow, and protect your money. We're going to talk about that. And that falls under separating your company's income from your personal income. Because you all notice these huge corporations, you all notice these huge, huge corporations, they don't pay taxes. They don't pay taxes. Why? Because they get all these deductions and all these tax credits. And if you separate your personal income from your company's income, that allows you as a person, because you're an employee of your company, but your company is pay, paying you 1099, right? So you are now a 1099 employee of your own company. So you get to take them same 479 deductions and get credit for some of those same tax credits. So essentially, your company's not paying taxes and you're not paying taxes legally. But that's a different training. <laughs> but that's what you get when you join our platform. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for today. Look, I appreciate all of y'all, every last one of you all, for joining us today. We had a lot of people on here today. I appreciate the love. Uh, look, let's keep it going. Um, my system tried to get hacked last week, so I didn't do any of the low board reports last week because somebody had set up a ghost. Um, a um, um, a um, Darren, someone had set up a ghost um, um, server, right? And it had the same name, but it had, like, my service name, but a number two at the end. And every morning I got up, all my systems were logged on to, to that server. I'm like, I don't know this server. Okay. And, and then when I tried to log on to my server, it wouldn't let me log on. So I, Xfinity, they couldn't figure it out. They had to have a guy come out, break down all my stuff. Finally, they couldn't figure it out, so they just took away my old service and bought me some new ones. <laughs> They brought me some new ones because that ghost server kept popping up. And you know when you have something like that, when you log in, they got access to all your stuff. As soon as you start logging into stuff, logging to your bank account, logging to your square account, they got access. I said, no, no, no. So I just played it safe and didn't log into nothing. I did everything on my phone last week, on my AT&T, you know, I'm in internet access. But now that I got my new servers in, everything, we're back up and running where we should be. So. Don't forget to join us Monday morning, 6 a.m. for the load board report. Uh, look at what's going on in your neck of the woods when it comes to load availability and freight. <laughs> all right? We're doing the Al Roker thing. But look, I appreciate all of you all. Let me, do, let me give a shout out to Busy Trucking. Thank you for joining us. HHC Logistics, thank you for joining us. 
Um, Christina, thank you for joining us. Great showing the love. Box office. Hey, man, always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, who else we got on here? We got Umar Matella. Hey, thank you for joining us. Trevon Young, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you in training, um, Trevon. Tina Marie does it all. Hey, I like that. T T Tina Marie does it all. <laughs> okay, I, I like that, Tina Marie. Don't forget to look up that um, last week's training where we talk about how to do negotiation, okay? Because negotiations truly is not about numbers. It's about circumstances and situations. As we talked about last week, and I give you a brief review of that, a great example of that now, if you call a shipper up now, what's going on when it comes to freight right now? You got all these ships out there parked off the, off the coast of California, Jacksonville. They're out there lined up. They can't come in because they don't have enough trucks to move their freight, right? That's a situation. That determines your negotiation, not numbers. Situations determine your negotiations with shippers. Right now, we have you have shippers over a barrel. Shippers don't have, there's not enough trucks out there to run the load. So in order, so if you got trucks, if you got trucks or access to trucks that can move their load, then you can pretty much demand higher margins. Right there? Yeah, right. That's correct. Yeah, look, negotiation with shippers has nothing to do with numbers and have everything to do with the situation and circumstances. Let the situations and circumstances determine your level of negotiations. Don't ever let numbers decide how you're going to negotiate. It's always about the situation and circumstances. So, in other words, be knowledgeable about the circumstances and the situation of the industry you are operating in. That's the lesson. Hope they gave you some, some um, quick insight. But go watch last week's episode. We, we we dig into it deeply, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, thank her uh, for that. I'm tuning in. Who else we have that I need to give thanks to? Uh, I think I hit everybody. If I miss someone, hey, I apologize. But I think I hit everybody. Thank you all again so much, so much. I appreciate y'all for joining us. Don't forget to join us on Monday morning. Call your truck. Call your trucking buddies, your own operators, people. Tell them that they want free loads. 7, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel, this YouTube channel, we give away loads on the load board report. Okay, Monday through Fridays, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., the load board report right here on this channel. Go ahead and set this channel um, in your notifications to notify you whenever I go live. So if you set that to notify you whenever I go live, you'll know when I come on with the load board report. And then they just call us up. They call out toll free number 866-973-6445 doesn't matter what extension they hear because at that time in the morning they're only going to get me okay so they call us up every morning tell us where they are and what type of trailer they have and we look up freight for them we even look up we even do dedicated freight for them we even show them how to set up a dedicated run last week before last we set up a carrier on a five hundred and eighty seven thousand dollar dedicated per year and they were home every night before 6 p.m. and off every weekend. And that was in Arkansas. And that was a flatbed. Yeah. <laughs> we did that. <laughs> and gave it away for free. Doing the load board report. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> okay? Because that's how we do it. That's what a good dispatchers do. All right, everybody. Thank you all again. I appreciate y'all for joining us for this episode of the Brokers Hour. I hope y'all enjoyed it. So that's why we do this. I want y'all to enjoy it. I want y'all to like it. I want y'all to tell your friends and tell everybody and try to get as many people to join our platform because our platform saves you money. Our platform saves you money. If you join our platform, you will save money. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Darren has been operating with our platform now for what, about two years now, Darren? Yeah, two years. And, 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 and do we save you money? <laughs> A whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. Not only do we save you money, but we show you how to make money. Thank you all again. I appreciate everybody. Join us again next week for the Brokers Hour on Saturday, 10-15 to 11-15 or 12 o'clock. Depends on how long, how, how how vibing we are. Depends on how long we go. But I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to look for uh, Trevor Young. I'm going to look for your enrollment. 
and see if I can go ahead and get you processed today so you can get it, so you can get access to all those back office to resources, training, and support. And don't forget about our franchise opportunity, everybody. Please don't forget about that because that that that's a killer right there, boy. That's a killer. All right, everybody. Be sure to look for our podcast that Darren and I are going to be doing. We don't know what we're going to call it yet, but we're working on it, and we hope to have that out here within the next couple of weeks and have our podcast up and going. We're probably going to try to set up something on satellite radio at the same time, but we're definitely going to be on YouTube, live on YouTube. We're going to be broadcasting live on YouTube because um, you all are our faithful followers. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Darren, thank you for joining us again. Appreciate you. For those of you that need that auto hauling um, information, contact Darren Stevens. His number is down there. Contact him. Give him a call. Uh, let, let, let me do a shout out with his number here real quick. His number, if you all want to give him a call, his number is 561-513-7847. That's 561-513-7847. If you want to know about auto hauling, give that young man a call. Set up your private consultation. It's just a hundred dollars per hour, but I guarantee you'd be well worth it. This is a man who went from zero to making ten thousand dollars a week doing auto hauling. So you're not gonna learn from anybody that knows anything more about the business than he does. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great one. Appreciate y'all joining us. See y'all next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>